Hey there viewers, I thought I would show you what I am carrying as of 2018. These videos aren't really popular anymore. It was a bit of a fad, a bit like the survival kits, but I'm not one to learn quickly, so let's get going. Um, so first of all, I've been carrying, this is a, a good thick handkerchief. Um, it is good enough, thick enough because it's doubled over to say grab something out of the oven quickly, so you just fold it and out you come. So just that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm a pretty chaotic cook, so I often generally find myself doing shit like that to, um, uh, you know, the oven that's nowhere in sight and I've decided something needs to come out really quickly. Good for that, good for radiator caps, all that sort of stuff. Just good for like putting on the edge of a smashed window and, you know, hoisting myself over. Just that sort of thing, just to um, avoid, you know, hand injuries, really. Handkerchief, great to have. And also just uh, on occasion wiping up like a really inconvenient spill, or, say if you spill a water bottle on like your desk at work or something. And it's just gonna, you can just tell it's gonna, you're gonna put a piece of paper on it and forget and drip your print job. So yeah, quickly and then done. You can't use it for that too many times because this is only small, but all sorts of uses, a little handkerchief. Uh, great stuff, let's line it up in the frame. Uh, next thing I've been carrying is of course my wallet. Uh, it's a thin Offin Mir leather wallet. Um, it's really, really slim. It's got cards in it. I'm relatively cashless these days, so uh, that's how I like it, which is good. Um, I carry keys, of course. My keys are a big bunch like that. Um, two cars, Surefire Sidekick. Yeah, it's big and bulky, but it's um, yeah, the, the, all these things find use. Um, you've got uh, you know 300 lumens on the flashlight. You've got a um, uh, good set of tweezers. Tweezers are great. I'll often be sitting and just be like, oh man, my ear hair's back. I get these ear hairs that like just grow in their wiry as so. Off to the bathroom, pull that out. Uh, I carry all my keys on this. It's a um, aircraft, or I think call them airline cables, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, they screw, screw shut. Um, so you can change your keys out relatively easily, but you know, you can also be, trust that they're pretty secure and you can also lock tight them if you're pretty happy that you're not gonna be opening them and then just cut it off, cut it off with a pair of pliers. So uh, good stuff there, keys, all that good gear. Um, now, uh, of course, uh, pen, 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 I always carry a pen. My favorite pens are made by Karis Customs. Uh, this is my favorite, the Retract. Just takes the Pilot G2 uh, gel inks. Um, real soft, click, really nice. Um, it's quite high in the pocket, um, but that's fine because I just have it in my pants pocket. So it's actually a bit more to grab onto. But if you're wearing a fold over shirt pocket or something, you might want a um, screw cap or something different. But yeah, this is a really nice pen, writes really well. Um, very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Um, and then I'll carry um, torches. If, if not this one, I'll have you know, a couple of other, one or two of the other flashlights or torches on the um, in nighttime, probably having this one on me just during the day. Sometimes I'll just have this as just a fun little pocket carry. This is the Prion P1 in copper. This is the Olight S2R baton. Um, this one's rechargeable. Comes with a cable that you just click onto the bottom and then USB. They're really, really good. Uh, torches are super handy. I probably use it more than any, apart from like obviously my phone, I probably use it more than any of my other everyday carry stuff. It's um, just good for, you know, kids need something changed out, like they want to plug in the Nintendo or, you know, unplug the DVD player, finding the right cable behind the telly, um, seeing one of the craps back behind desks and things. Uh, trying to find Basil sometimes, believe it or not, that big fat cat can go missing and he's usually under our bed somewhere. Um, so yeah, it's good. Um, my watch is the Victorinox um, Inox, I-N-O-X. Uh, it's developing a really nice patina. Um, it's got some good signs of use on it. It's a very, very sturdy watch. Um, just nice and simple. I don't need smart watches. I don't need time zones. I don't need stopwatches, anything like that. I just need the time. And I like it in a nice sort of sturdy piece that I don't have to worry too much about. The sapphire crystal on the top is worth uh, every little bit of money, every little extra cent you pay for it because it's so scratch resistant. The rest of this steel is all scratched up. Crystal is absolutely fine. Very, very cool. Um, Multi-tool, I sometimes carry a multi-tool. Um, when I do, it's usually the Skeletal CX with this 154CM blade. Uh, that's been sharpened a lot. Um, it's much smaller than it was when I started out. But yeah, it's got screwdrivers and pliers and it is sturdy enough. It's lasted me. Well, I got it in, this is my first ever video review back in 2013. So it's nearing towards five years. So. Excellent little multi-tool. Nothing on it's gone, not even the usual suspects like the carabiner clip. It's all a very, very healthy still. So good tool that. Uh, and lately I've been carrying also this um, Victorinox Explorer, uh, simply because some of these tools are really good for sharpening systems. So I'll use a little blade to 
rub the um, old compound of my strop. I'll use the magnifying glass to check burrs, see if they're um, you know ready to move on to the next um, next side, which is good. Um, and I'll use the flat driver to um, twist the um, this main screw down and tighten the knife into the handle. Uh, funny story with this, I did, well not funny, I guess, I had to get into a house one time to help an old lady who had, no one had heard from him in a long time. And um, she uh, uh, had got, off, got the window popped off with this and it did, did the trick, but the soft Victorinox steel, uh, it's not the best at prying. You can see it's kind of bent a little bit there. But it's, uh, it did the job that one time, like a bit, bit of a single use item perhaps, but uh, I think next time if I did it the other way, I probably would lose my lose my tip there. But you know, um, things force them into rolls and often they respond okay. So there you go. Um, and then knives, of course, you know I'm a knife guy. I'll usually have like a favorite knife, like an everyday carry knife. This is my favorite knife is the Spidey Chef. Um, it's a great knife, um, very slim. Good sharp blade, lasts a long time edgewise, but it also is more or less uh, rust proof, so very, very cool there. And then um, I usually have a review knife on me as well. So this is the Kizzle Yar Hero. I'm reviewing this, Killer Deegan sent this along. He likes his Kizzle Yar knives, he likes his black bladed knives. So um, uh, it's one of his. Uh, it's got a nice sort of thick G10 handle, it's a liner lock. Tip down, only carry. Eh. Um, Smooth enough, opens well enough. It's a bit of a bit of a brick in the hand, but um, you know, I'll, I'll have to look into how much these cost and draw a bit of a review conclusion on it. Sorry, my cat is playing with a plastic bag, so that sound is. Uh, anyway, that's my everyday carry thus far, dudes. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye now. Yeah.